you men in ministry behind me who have carried their cross because they so want and so desire to follow after Jesus Christ and make disciples. You have fasted and gone hungry. Many of you could have gone into any career and done anything with your lives. And you have made sacrifices to be here. And when it says in Isaiah 6, 8, the Lord is saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for me? You answered and you said, here I am, Lord. Here I am. And so we want to thank you tonight. We want to thank you for what you've done, the sacrifices you have made. You are incredibly godly men and men of whom the world is not worthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the fruit, pastors. This is the fruit of what you've done. Look at the fruit of what you've done. This is the fruit of your labor. This is what you have done. Through God's power, through denying yourself, God has used you for this, for this. Thank you. I think these guys are trying to say thank you. I think they're trying to say don't quit. It's worth it. Hey, one last time, man. One last time. These guys don't get to hear this much, okay? They don't get to feel this much. But listen to this. If there's one time to cheer, this is going to be it. And I want you to blow these guys away, okay? Ready? I want, you, I want them to fall back. Ready? We're going to go one, two, three. <laughs> You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys are so awesome, man. Um, I told these guys they were going to pray for you, so we can't lie too much. So you want to come close us? I want you to come right up here. I want you to pray. I want you to pray for uh, Converge, Lima, the rest of this conference, whatever else God lays on your heart. The rest of us are going to join you in prayer. Let's just let's join him. And then you guys, let's, let's join him. This is just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning because we're getting ready to go out and to take Jesus into Lima. So uh, you, you, you pray for us. So, Father, as Elijah stood upon Carmel, Father, he beckoned the heavens to show yourself strong. And, Lord, he challenged to the powers and the principalities. You have not seen anything yet. Well, today we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that Lima belongs to Jesus Christ. Yes. We declare today that Lima belongs to Jesus Christ and we declare the heavens are open to bless, to anoint, to save, to redeem, to heal, and in the name of Jesus Christ, Converge is rising up to seek the lost, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to the open the blind eyes, the deaf ears, the lame will walk, because Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. So, Father, we today, we declare at this moment, there's one name, one name, one name that is being declared, and that is the name of Jesus Christ, the only Savior, the only Lord, the only one. And Lord, today we pray, come down, come down, come down, O God, and show yourself strong. And we are with you, Lord. We are with you as we pour out, believing in faith that strongholds are broken and that Lima yields itself to the name of Jesus Christ. God, we're ready. Amen. Father, we're just yes. ready. Thank you. Lord, we're ready. It's been too long. We're ready. Oh, Lord, we pray that every person in this hall, that, Lord, they're going to know that they know that they know the love of Jesus Christ at a level yes. that they could not Amen. comprehend. And, Lord, you're going to shift out of the way. You're going to kick down the door of their lives to reveal the hope of Jesus 
the love of Jesus, the fullness of Jesus, because God, you care for a world that is so confused. Well, today we draw a line and we say, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Lord, pour out blessing today upon every human being here. Pour out blessing upon the doors that will get knocked upon. Pour out blessings upon every conversation. And Lord, as the Israelites would come back, they came back with a report that said, Our God is big. Our God is big. Our God is big. And our God is great. And we know his redemption in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.